What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. I've been testing uh, testing new types of videos, a little bit more about news, actuality and investing rather than trading and uh, technical analysis, even though all of my daily analysis and price predictions always have fundamentals and news incorporated in them, all right? But this is a video that has to do with the opening of uh, crypto exchanges June the 1st in Hong Kong, or at least um, June the 1st, they will have guidelines and you can actually, um, you can try to register with, Hong, with with the Hong Kong securities regulator. They still have to accept you. And I'm, I believe, and I've heard some rumors about this, but I could not confirm it. I believe you can only buy like 16 cryptos, but still it has a bigger effect than that, right? Because it, it, it is also seen as the start of legalization of crypto in China again, which uh, does have positive Im impact on a lot of, first of all, on crypto, but also on a lot of coins. Uh, in the crypto industry right now, or just in crypto, uh, you have f a couple of coins that are tightly linked with Chinese investors. Um, you sometimes they also have chinese founders and chinese teams behind them um but um i mean crypto is banned in china but you might not know this but a lot of chinese people still buy and trade crypto that is going on um so these cryptos actually tend to be china's favorites um so i set up a list which i'll actually show you in a moment you saw it in the beginning as well a list of cryptos that have ties to china so that could be a lot of things we'll go over some examples um, like I said, I mean, NEO just is Chinese. Conflux, I'm not sure if it's Chinese, but it has a lot of partnerships uh, with Chinese, uh, Chinese state companies. And we know that a lot of uh, people in China actually trade and hold Conflux. So I'll give you these coins. While this uh, big news is coming up very, very soon, it's right now May the 25th. Uh, so it's coming closer and coming closer. Um, but one thing I do want to say before I, I give you this list and I'll, I'll kind of give you the reasoning why I think these cryptos are it. And some cryptos actually right now, it's pretty interesting, are already rallying because of the news like High Street, which I always, also gave a buy signal on in my own trading signals group, link in the description. But the thing is, is that we do not know what can happen June 1st. These cryptos will move. All right. That is something I'm pretty sure of. But whether they will actually crash or rally, that remains to be seen. It could also be true that we kind of have a buy the rumor, sell the news or uh, buy the announcement, sell the actual event, which it would be in this case. We've seen that countless times over and over again uh, in crypto. So that could also be true. All right. So I'm just giving you these cryptos. I'm not saying these cryptos will rally. Will rally. Some of these cryptos also have stronger ties to China than other ones, for example, Filecoin and, um, and, and VeChain, they have ties to China, but not as strong. Whereas NEO, for example, has very strong ties and the Huobi token is also a little bit questionable. So that's a, a quick disclaimer I wanted to give. But now let's get into the list. And this list, by the way, is also in a pinned comment for you to, to just, it's, I made it public, it's for free. You can, just, you can just check it out and you can watch it. So there are 20 cryptocurrencies. Um, most of them I got from my from my own memory back in the China narrative days uh, earlier this uh, earlier this year and just of what I know. Uh, so here you can see them. I'm not going to read them all. Some some of them are, are pretty interesting. Like Alchemy Pay, um, it, it's it's a bit questionable. I do acknowledge that Huobi the same. See Huobi is is owned by a Chinese guy, right? Justin Sun. So therefore this could actually get some bullish momentum. That's also what we've seen last week. Um, Dodo, I'm not 100% sure about. DFI money is just not a great cryptocurrency right now. Um, so some of these are a little bit questionable. Same for measurable data token. Measurable data token obviously was also in the AI narrative. So can you actually expect it to even to become even more bullish right now? I'm not sure. And like I said, some of these cryptos have already rallied quite a bit, like Iris and High Street. So perhaps it's better to actually get into some sort of short action with those cryptos. But this is the list. I'll give you some examples of, of why, how they are uh, uh, partnered with uh, or in how they connect to China. For CFX, most of you know, see Iris is China's Cosmos blockchain. Then you, for example, have uh, Cocos, which has to do with uh, China's gaming blockchain. And blockchain gaming and metaverse is really big in China. Uh, and, and you can just check out that there are multiple like ACH is enabling crypto payments in Hong Kong. They actually do have some partnerships like that in Hong Kong. 
so therefore ACH could be interesting. Some of these are not on my list, I just don't buy it. Like Sand building Hong Kong's metaverse backed by Anamoka brands. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure if Anamoka brands is Chinese, but even if it is, I, I think it's going a little bit too far to actually tie every uh, project that has to do with Anamoka brands with China. Like for example, High Street, we've already seen that react to China narrative. Uh, so that's how we know it. Um, but the other ones are a bit questionable. So every I, I put every crypto off of which I think we can actually be sure that there's some sort of a tie and that we can see some sort of reaction on the list. The ones that are not on the list, the list I think are questionable, but then you can always just pause the screen and see them right now. So that's my video. Those are the 20 coins I think you need to watch before the before June the 1st when the first exchange is open in Hong Kong. Like I said in the beginning, whether they will rally or crash, I'm not sure about yet, but I will keep you updated on that. So if you're interested on, in that, make sure to subscribe. For now though, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.